Hey Gems, welcome to today's art lesson. Today we're going to be learning about the artist Wadsworth Jarrell. Our learning target is, I can describe Wadsworth Jarrell's artwork with high quality notices and wonders. And our habit target is, I can show quality by using descriptive words in my notices and wonders. So after we look at Wadsworth Jarrell's artwork and learn a little bit about him, we're going to talk about what exactly we need when we're writing high quality notices and wonders. We've written notices and wonders before, so I know you remember that a notice is something you see in an artwork, and a wonder is a question you have about the artwork. Wadsworth Jarrell was one of the founding members of the Afrocobra art movement, and Afrocobra stands for African Commune of Bad Relevant Artists. And these people were pretty cool, in my opinion. They started the group in 1968, and their whole idea was that they wanted to commit themselves to the principles of social responsibility, artistic excellence, local artistic involvement, and their promotion of pride in black self-identity. So here's the members and here's Wadsworth Jarrell up here. And I was thinking when I read this list was that it really goes along with our habits of learning. Social responsibility to me goes with teamwork. Artistic excellence goes with quality. Local artistic involvement seems like responsibility and the promotion of pride in black self-identity seems like it goes along with thoughtfulness to me. Here's Wadsworth and his wife Jay Jarrell at an art opening in Los Angeles just a few years ago. They currently live in Cleveland, Ohio, but most of the art that we're going to look at today they made in Chicago. One of Wadsworth Jarrell's main ideas was that he really wanted to flood the art world with positive images of Black American culture. So most of his artwork is portraits. One of the major things that he included in his artwork were images of famous people that were important to the civil rights movement. So on the left side, this is a portrait of Malcolm X with one of his most famous quotes. And then on the right side is Angela Davis. One thing that's really, really um, notable about Wadsworth Jarrell's artwork are the colors that he uses. And he referred to these as Kool-Aid colors, but instead of spelling them like the drink, he spelled it like the word cool. And his explanation of these colors is that they're related to the clothing that black Americans were wearing in the 1960s and 70s. So bright, bold colors in geometric patterns. And this carries through to most of his, through most of his artwork. Let's look even more carefully at this painting. At first, it looks like it's full of just colors and patterns and shapes and lines. But when you look a little bit closer, you realize that these are actually pictures of two saxophone players. And the bodies and faces and instruments are made of different patterns. So when we zoom in, we're going to look right here. But by including all of these shapes and patterns and textures, to me, he makes his paintings look the way music sounds. So as we're doing notices and wonders, let's talk about what makes them high quality. A high quality notice is going to need at least three things. So you're going to notice three things. You need to describe what the painting is a picture of. So you could think about, is it abstract, landscape, a portrait? What do you see in the painting? I want you to use art vocabulary. So think about shapes, lines, and colors. And you could also talk about the mood or the feeling you get from the artwork. When we're talking about high quality wonders, I want you to wonder at least two things. And here are some things you could wonder about the purpose or meaning of the artwork, 
how something was created, so the skills the artist used or the materials they used, the inspiration for the artwork, or why something is included in the artwork. And I made a rubric for us so we could understand this a little bit more. And I have examples from this painting called The Scream. So notices, just beginning is you don't have any notices. So you didn't write anything or you said you didn't see anything. Approaching expectations is you wrote one or two sentences about something you saw in the artwork, but your words do not use art vocabulary. So an example for this one would be, I see a person. Meeting expectations is you have three notices that use art vocabulary and details. For example, I see a person made of lines, that's my art vocabulary, standing on a bridge. Those are my details. And exceeding expectations is you have more than three notices with art vocabulary that also use adjectives. So an example for one of these notices would be, I see a scary person, that's an adjective, surrounded by wavy red, orange, and blue lines, there's my art vocabulary, that makes me feel upset. There's another adjective. And then for wonders, these are our questions about the artwork. Just beginning is you do not have any wonders. Approaching expectations is you wrote one wonder that ap could apply to any artwork. So for example, looking at this painting, you could say, why did the artist paint this? We could say that about any painting we looked at. Meeting expectations is you have two wonders that are specifically about the artwork. So for example, I wonder how the artist mix, mixed all of those colors of blue. Because there are different colors of blue in the bridge, different colors of blue in the water, a little bit of blue in the sky. So how did they learn about what colors they needed to make those variations of blue? Exceeding expectations is your wonder is in depth about the artwork. For example, I wonder what happened that is making the person in this painting so upset. So you're trying to put together the pieces of this painting. If we look at this person, they definitely look upset. They look like they're screaming. Their hands are at the side of their face. If we look at these colors, they look a little bit angry or anxious, especially if we think about our zones, red and blue. Those are not good, good zones to be in, right? Those don't feel good. So when I look at this painting, I wonder what would happen to make this person feel that way. Now, when the video is over, you're going to write three notices about this painting we looked at with the two saxophone players. And you're going to do, what do you see in the painting? I don't want you to worry about spelling. I just want you to try your best. You can spell sound words out. I'm not going to care if words are spelled wrong. And then remember your art vocabulary. And I listed them here for you. Shapes, lines, colors, background, foreground. And you're going to type over here. And then you're going to need to write two wonders. So think about the questions you have about this painting. Remember, don't worry about spelling. And here are some things you could wonder about. The meaning of something, how the artist made something, and what something in the painting was inspired by. And then when you finish that, you're going to drag these two stars to where you think you are for notices on our rubric and where you think you are for wonders on our rubric. Okay, I can't wait to read your high quality notices and wonders. And then I'll see you tomorrow.